So I have a 3 8 uh, porcelain drill here on here. Uh, safety glasses, a mask, gloves, uh, you know, if uh, you feel like wearing them. And then a spray bottle here of just tap water to cool off the bit. So here's the hole, and I used a Pennington 12-inch uh, saucer. I'm using a Polaco pump because it adjusts. I, you can go down to close to, you know, a few gallons all the way up to its maximum depending on your reach. It's about 120 gallons. Uh, but I know that with each fountain, when you make a custom fountain, you're not sure about what kind of water flow you're going to need. So this is a really nice feature on here. You can adjust the water flow. Anyways, this is the 3 8 inch tube it comes with, and I'm going to go ahead and see how it slips in here. And that's nice and tight. That's really good. So, there we go. Good hole. Nice and symmetrical. like it. Now I need to drill the porcelain piece. I've got two pieces of porcelain, a bowl that's going to go over this. This porcelain is very hard, and I need a, a pilot hole for it. I'm stepping up to uh, 1 8 and I'm still, uh, you know, piloting this hole as I want to go through with the 3 8 Finish it up with my 3 8 bit. Okay, so I'm through, and I'll show you the hole. Looks good. The uh, tubing slips through like this, pull it down, and that's going to ride on top of that. I've been drilling one quarter inch holes about one and a half inches from the bottom to create a nice uh, basin for uh, small birds to bathe in. And I'm going to go ahead and finish up the last hole here. through. So I'm going to be using half inch uh, PVC pipe here to uh, make what's going to hold the platform for my fountain top. Uh, notice that these are running at uh, 90 degrees to each other so that we can make a square out of them. Essentially this will go in here like that and I'll connect and I'll make a square. I'm going to go ahead in case you've never worked with this show you how easy it is to cut if you have a PVC pipe cutter and here we go that simple so I cut these to size so it would uh, land smoothly on the bottom of my pot the uh, PVC pipe itself was cut at four and a half inches but you know this is kind of a custom job so eventually I'm just going to go ahead and put this together and discuss what I have And there's my tabletop. I'm going to put the, the legs on it. Cut the legs to fit the pot. And it's a real sturdy table and very lightweight, by the way. Very lightweight. Here we go. Putting on all the materials it's going to carry. I'm going to drill 1 8 holes up here toward the top. That'll allow water to get in here. And, uh, you know, when you're looking at it, it won't float. And allow water in. So I'm going to drill out each one. And here is the Pulaco pump. It's 10 watts. And I'm not drilling a hole in the bottom of this pot. I'm just going to come up from the edge here. So and I need to cut this to size. There we go. Thread this one in. There we go. It's threaded in. And I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Here is the uh, first setup, uh, real basic. But this would definitely qualify 
as a bird bath that recirculates. And once again, if you keep that pump running 24 seven, you will not get mosquitoes in it. They don't like agitated water, stuff that's moving. So they don't lay in it. So you don't have to worry about treating it for mosquitoes. Okay, so that's the second setting. You can see water coming out of these holes in it. It's gonna keep that water at about two inches, a little less than two inches. And I'll show you the other hole drilled out. You can see it, it's only a, an inch and a half deep. And there's the other hole. And the water's uh, rushing through it. It just keeps dropping down, dropping down. And here's another setup. I like this one. It's kind of a uh, traditional looking. Let me pull back so you can see a little bit more of the pot. There it is. And, if, you know, whatever you decide to go with if you're going to have something on it. So this would be your koi fish topper and you can see that you know it doesn't take up too much space in on the terracotta uh, bathing part which is about two inches ideal for your smaller birds anything uh, below I would say you know a blue jay through uh, a hummingbird worked really well for all of them. Okay, I want to marry this uh, porcelain pot to this terracotta plate. Uh, the terracotta plate is pl uh, plenty porous, but this is very smooth, so I'm going to rough it up with 36 grit sandpaper uh, so that it will hold the 100% silicon that I'm going to use to marry these two together so that they're permanent. Uh, I know that when the birds land on it if they're fairly large. Obviously hummingbirds, small birds aren't going to affect this, but your crows will come in too. So I want the weight of this to be tied to this. So I'm going to rough this up really good. That looks good to me. Now I'm going to put on the glue or the silicone cock and I want to put a goodly portion here and write it up on the edge here. heavier here and then some nice dollops here 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 pull some of this up here looks really good good enough so what I have here is uh, tubing and just a smaller uh, drill bit to hold it firm. I'm going to go ahead and insert it here and that's going to help guide the, the uh, terracotta plate onto, onto the top and I'm going to let this be my guide. I'm going to stick it onto there and there. It guides it into place so that should be really really well done it's heavy now um, it's gonna weigh uh, I'm gonna guess and say about uh, five pounds total so that's a good weight GE silicone cock that I just used it dries in about uh, an hour but I'm gonna let it set for 24 and uh, all should be good there
Thanks for watching.